Naina Lal Kedwai, how about turning the, uh, the wheel and looking at corporate India? Because there's one thing to say the government should do more, but are corporates doing enough? Pranoy read out a graphic where he talked about how corporate investment has been steadily falling. And the government could turn around and say, look, we've lowered corporate tax to historic uh, depths. We've pumped in so much liquidity into the banking system to make loans easier, cheaper. But corporates are still not investing. They're, they're turning profits, but they're doing that by either laying off people or through, through salary cuts. Well, corporates are in the business of making money. And if the demand isn't there, the investment is not going to follow, right? So what we've got right now is uh, the need to get companies uh, uniformly uh, up in terms of revenues. And the good news is there are companies now that are limping towards pre-COVID levels. Um, most of them are in sectors which don't require heavy investment as yet. It's been the FMCG sector. The pharma sector is probably even, uh, uh, you know, in many cases uh, above uh, the pre-COVID levels. Mm. Uh, the sectors that the heavy industry sectors are only now beginning to pick up. Steel, cement, uh, we, we are seeing the benefit of some of the investment demand coming through and therefore investment following in these sectors. And I think therefore the investment will follow. But... Uh, we will not see the private sector put investment in until there is need for that investment. And that can only happen when right, capacity right, utilizations exactly, rise. Exactly. Uh, the fact that many have used the COVID period to uh, cut costs, and it's not just people. Fortunately, in many cases, they have kept people on, but maybe, uh, uh, you know, they try to look at it in terms of setting uh, salaries and wages lower. And those jobs will come back, I'm sure. Uh, the issue really is going to be around keeping this performance up in a sustained way. And infrastructure will help it. The construction sector will help some of these yeah, heavy investment sectors. Help. Can we just have those graphs on the left-hand side? Just if you play them, just to remind that this is not just a pandemic problem. We were on a downward trend for 10 years and a very worrying trend. And to get out of that, uh, I don't know... Um, We've heard that we're very satisfied there are no surprises in this budget, but man, we needed surprises. We needed something big. We are in a terrible crisis. And, uh, you know, that, that is a factor, that, you know, industrial investment plummeting, and I won't go through all that again. Um, but uh, it's just, it is an underlying problem, right, Naina? Uh, it is an underlying problem. And I think, you know, when you have your hands tied like this, as I do believe the government has, what can they do other than stick money into uh, infrastructure, which does not have an immediate impact? Uh, it will, it's more, going to, you know, a medium term impact in terms of jobs and uh, pulling investment along. But I do think simultaneously, uh, the money that is going into programs like the Jal Jeevan Mission and Swachh Bharat, and there the government seems to have done quite well historically in terms of implementation. That machinery is still pumping away. That uh, that money leads to job creation. And job creation, in turn, will uh, hopefully lead to more spending as well. So, we, you know, the public services space is an interesting one, uh, as I see it. And there the numbers do stack up in that there is an increase uh, over the year in, say, you know, I was just looking at the numbers, for example, for uh, Namami Ganga is uh, is up, uh, the river basin management uh, 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 is up 34 percent. The big one there, you know, all the that's fine. Uh, ministry, uh, yeah. Nanala, Nanala, yeah. all that's fine. But people globally look at these macro figures and yeah. our rating is triple B minus. And we are complaining, nobody understands us. But that's not what, I mean, the reality is people don't trust our figures. So they look at these disaggregated figures and say, look, maybe your GDP, you know, we don't trust it. So we have a lot of work to do. We need to understand things are not just marketing and that is all good. We have to look at reality. And it is a very, very serious position.